The baseline inbound play is designed to get the ball in bounds underneath the attacking team's own basket. We will go over three basic sets, one against a man defense, one against his own defense, and one that can work against both. However, different variations of all three plays can work against a man or a zone. A basic inbound play that many youth teams run against a man defense is stack. There are multiple ways to run this play, however, this version is designed for the third person in the stack to have an open layup. Players will line up back to back on the ball side block. Players 1 and 2 will pop in opposite directions and player 3 will step forward for a quick pass and shot. Player 4 will be the last option and pop backwards to the perimeter. It is important for players to stack back to back with each other and not allow the defense to break up the stack. Also, leave enough room for the first two players to pop. Don't get too close to the baseline. An inbound play that works well against a zone defense's box. Again, there are numerous ways to run a box set. This version is designed for the inbounder to get an open look at corner shot. This play works great to just get the ball inbounds as well. The ball side post player will pop to the corner and receive the inbound pass. Pivoting with their back to the defender, they should then pass to the wing as they pop to the perimeter. After making this pass, the post player or player 3 will then set a screen for the inbounder, leaving the corner wide open against a 2-3 zone. Diamond is a play that can work well against any defense. The only thing that changes is where the screen will be set, since defenders will be in different positions. Remember to set the screen on the defender, not a spot on the floor. Diamond is a play that utilizes what is called screening for the screener. Players will set up in a diamond formation with two players on the elbow, one near the hoop and one slightly above the foul line. In this case, player 2 is who the play is designed for. Player 2 will set a back screen for player 3 near the top of the key. Player 3 will cut weak side to the basket. The ball side elbow or player 4 will then set a screen for player 2 to loop back around for an open layup. This is what diamond may look like against a man defense. Players should aim for successful screens and try to cut to the blocks for the inbound. If this is ran against a zone, players should cut to the open gaps rather than to a specific spot. Teams may also inbound the ball from the sideline. Stack is a play that can be run from the sideline as well. This is a variation of stack that works well for youth teams with a strong post player. This requires the post player to try and seal his defender on the block. For this reason, let's call this play block. The first look is a lob pass to the post. After inbounding the ball, a simple double screen is set for the first person in the stack to cut to the hoop. The inbounder will cut to the perimeter. The post can try to score or look for players 1 and 2 as they cut. If the post pass is not open, the play can be run just like stack. Have the inbounder slap the ball and the players will break to get open. Remember, when inbounding the ball teams only have 5 seconds once the inbounder is holding the ball. Plays must be set up and executed quickly. Okay, let's recap. Stack against a man. Box against a 2-3 zone. Diamond against a man. Diamond against a zone. And stack or block as a sideline inbound. Sometimes plays do not go as planned. Do your best to find the open man and inbound the ball successfully. Mike Krzyzewski once said, I have a plan of action, but the game is a game of adjustments. If you enjoyed that video, like and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you'd like to see any additional videos, leave a comment in the section below. See you on the court.